Hey everybody, welcome to Technology and Toys, and today's video we're going to be doing something uh, a little more hands-on than normal. In front of me, I have a 2012, mid-2012, 13-inch MacBook Pro. This is the last model that featured the uh, slot-loading super drive, and today we're going to be getting rid of that super drive, but for a good reason. I think for most people this will balance out. Today, I'm going to add a second 2.5-inch drive to this MacBook in place of the slot loading super drive. Now to do this, I have this little adapter from Amazon. I don't remember the exact company, but you can find them all over the place for really cheap. This one was like seven bucks. And inside the box, you get what looks like the slot loading super drive. But there's a difference. There is a little slot in the middle. It happens to be the exact same size as a two and a half inch drive. So to start this process, I'm gonna move what we're actually doing off to the side. I'm gonna grab a little thing to hold the screws. We're gonna flip the MacBook over and we're going to remove all the screws on the back of the casing. Don't lose any of these. These are very small, very easy to lose. All right, so with all the screws removed, back plate should just come right off. And here we go. This is your standard hard drive or SSD, depending on if you decide to upgrade it or if whoever owned it before you upgraded it. And this is what we're getting rid of. This is the slot loading super drive. Any last words before I gut you from this machine? Ha, ah, who am I kidding? You're a piece of metal, you can't talk. So what you're gonna wanna do is this middle tab right here. You wanna pull that up and out. That's gonna disconnect it from the motherboard. And you're also going to wanna disconnect this top one. Actually, disconnect them all because you're gonna need to peel them back. All right, so with those three things disconnected, you're gonna to wanna to come in and unscrew the speaker housing and the wireless card. One screw there, one screw here. And they are different lengths, so try not to get them mixed up like I did the first time. Then you're gonna to wanna to disconnect this wire right here. This is to your eyesight camera. Just slowly pull it out. Now we should be able to lift this up. Now with this freed, a screw here and then there's a screw under here you want to take those out and then you're also going to want to remove this one right here this keeps it anchored to the middle of the machine and now we should be able to just sort of lift this free yep here it comes unless they have another screw that i was not told about nope there we go well that's why this wasn't working because this just fell out of there. Huh. Not entirely sure what that's to, but I would assume it's important, seeing as it stopped working. Now, before you dispose of this or keep it, because there are adapters to use this as a USB drive, before you, I don't know, stash this away, there's two things that we need from this. One is this little ribbon connector here, and then you're gonna wanna take out these two screws here and take the bracket and the screws. So with both of those removed, you can now do whatever you want with this because we don't need it anymore. This is where the adapter and the other drive comes in. This can be a hard drive or an SSD or whatever you want. You just wanna drop it in with the drive in and then just push it back gently. And once it's in, you wanna take the screws and I wanna see if I can pick this up. You're gonna wanna screw in your drive. So that way it doesn't come loose, like that. And you're gonna wanna do it with all four. Now that we have all four screwed in, we're gonna take the little bracket that we took off of the super drive, and we're gonna screw it into these two holes with the lip facing downward. This is the top and this is the bottom. This little screw lip right here, we want that facing downwards. You're gonna wanna screw it into the back of the caddy. I wouldn't screw it in too tight unless you know with 100% certainty that you are not taking this out and you're not putting the super drive back in. Because if you strip the screws like I did on my old one, this is stuck in there forever. Screw gently. Don't take that out of context. That sounded horrible. So then you want to put the connector back in like that. And then we're going to slide this back in. And it's basically just the first part of this tutorial in reverse from now on. So we gotta slide the screw in, tighten it, second screw, line it up, drive it in, and then the third screw, line it up, drive it in. And with that back in, you're gonna wanna screw in your wireless card, two long screws being over on 
the left side, screw those down. Now I do believe that this process, the screwing and unscrewing, is slightly different model to model. I remember I had a 15 inch 2010 MacBook Pro and it was slightly different because it's bigger and the speakers are on the side instead of here. I would imagine that the plastic and aluminum 13 inch MacBooks would be either the same or slightly different. And this only works with mid 2012 MacBooks and older. So 2012 and under, this works. Late 2012, they switched to the Retina displays and SSDs and everything was soldered to the motherboard. And once you've got your speaker screwed back in, you're gonna wanna plug in your EyeSight camera. Slide it back in ever so gently. Don't break it, Jake, like you did with your old one. This isn't even your MacBook, so don't break it. All right, slide that back in. If you can tuck that wire away, do that. And you wanna connect the ribbon connectors. Just align them with the hole and push down. And then we put the back plate on. And then we get the screws as I switch sides again. And screw it back in. You have three long screws. They go here, here, and here. And then you screw those in. And then the other seven holes are just the regular small screws. And that should be it. So now I'm gonna take it, flip it over, and turn it on. Hopefully it's not gonna scream at me. It turns on, we just gotta wait for it to boot. All right, and then with the machine turned on, you can see we have all the multiple different partitions here. There's one for Mojave, one for Mountain Lion. System reserved, Windows 7, Windows 10, and Windows XP. My friend's even more of an OCD freak than I am. And they're all reading properly, so let me uh, shut down. And I'll show you how to boot into your second drive if you're using this as a second operating system and not, uh, not internal storage. So when your machine turns off, you're gonna wanna press the power button and then hold Option. The machine will turn on. And eventually it'll come up with this screen here. And you get two options, Mojave, which is I guess the only Mac OS partition that has something installed, and then Windows, and then we'll choose Windows. Five minutes later. All right, well, this is stalling out, but if it does show up, it will show up with a Windows loader. You'll be able to select Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows XP, whatever you're running, um, and you can boot into that normally. So there you guys have it. That is my tutorial on how to replace your super drive and make that space in your MacBook slightly more useful. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications with the bell icon. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.